Hi everybody. It is wonderful to see you all. It is time for our word lady lesson of the week. And we will be using this wonderful story called Jamela's Dress by Nikki Daly. Before I read you the story and talk about the words, let's look at our goal for the day and go over what the words we will be listening for are. I can listen for new words and use them when I speak with the help of sentence frames. These are the three words we'll be learning today. Repeat them after me. Clutching. Clutching. Cross. Cross. Radiant. Radiant. Before we get started with our story, let me remind you that for these lessons, we will be using our sentence frames to say sentences, to use our new words. So if you don't have a talking partner with you right now, you should go get one. You can pause the video. You could get a grown up who's home, grandma, mom, dad, aunt, uncle, a cousin, a brother, a sister, a pet, or you can use a stuffed animal, okay? But you're gonna want someone or something to tell your sentence to. Now remember, we are listening for the words clutching, cross, and radiance. When you hear those words in the story, what are you going to do? That's right, show me you noticed by going like this. Ready for the story? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna read Jamela's Dress by Nikki Daly. And remember, we are looking for the words clutching, cross, radiant. Okay, enjoy the story. Listen for our words. Jamela's dress. Mama was very pleased with the new material she'd found at Nandy's. She had worked hard to earn the money for it. It's beautiful, Mama, said Jamela, stroking the crisp new material. Yes, it's beautiful. It costs a lot of money, but I need something special to wear for Thelma's wedding, said Mama. Jamela helped Mama wash the stiffness out of the new material. Together, they hung it up to dry. I'll look after it, Mama, said Jamela. Thank you, said Mama. Just make sure Taxi doesn't jump up and dirty my material. Okay, said Jamela. A warm breeze blew. Jamela rubbed her cheek against the soft material and followed the beautiful patterns with her finger. When Taxi barked, Mama called, Jamela, are you looking after my material? Yes, Mama. It's getting nice and dry, said Jamela. Dreamily, Jamela swayed between the folds of material as they flapped and wrapped around her into a dress. When Mama heard nothing going on, she called, Are you looking after my material, Jamela? There was no answer. Uh-oh. Down the road went Jamela, proud as a peacock to show Thelma her beautiful dress for the wedding. She passed Miss Style hairdressers and the snack pack grocery. Hi, beautiful, called old greasy hands, who was fixing up Thelma's wedding car. Children sang, Coella Jamella, African queen. Taxi barked and Mrs. Zeebie's chicken went wild. Think this material is gonna stay clean? Then, a boy on a bicycle who wasn't looking where he was going went skidding all over Mama's dress material. What a show. In his photo studio, Archie heard the commotion. He ran out clutching his special camera. Did you notice the word? You're right, clutching. It means holding on tight. So he ran out clutching his special camera and shouted, hold it, Jamela. So Jamela posed. The children pushed in, taxi pushed in, 
Mrs. Zebe and her chicken pushed in, and the boy on the bicycle just squeezed in. They all smiled. Click. But when Thelma saw Jamela, she scolded. Oh, Jamela, your mama's going to be very upset when she sees what you've done with her material. And Mama was. Mama was so upset that she couldn't even look at Jamela. She just looked at the dirty, torn material and said sadly, what am I going to wear for the wedding? Everyone felt sorry for Mama and cross with Jamela. Did you notice? Good noticing. Cross means angry, irritated. Even Jamela was cross with Jamela. Here, right, there it is again, cross, angry, irritated. She hadn't meant to ruin Mama's material. It just happened. A few days later, Archie saw Jamela coming down the road without her usual smile. He called, hey, Jamela, why so sad? Come see the good news. Pointing to a front page photograph in the newspaper, Archie read proudly, Coella Jamela, African Queen, a prize winning photograph taken by Archie Kumalo. But instead of looking happy, Jamela started to cry and she told Archie all about Mama's messed up material. That's a sad story, Jamela, said Archie, but it has a happy ending. He put his hand into his bag. Jamela wiped her eyes. See, said Archie, taking out a bundle of money. I won big bucks for that photograph. Jamela had never seen so much money. You can buy lots of things at the shops with that money, Archie, said Jamela. What do you think Archie's going to buy at the shop? Let's see. Right, Archie laughed. That's the happy ending. In the afternoon, Archie arrived carrying a gift for Jamela's mama. What is this, Archie? Mama asked in surprise. Open it, Mama, open it, cried Jamela. Mama unwrapped the parcel. Inside was a beautiful piece of material from Mandy's, just like the first piece. Jamela jumped up and down. Thank you, Archie, said Mama. Nope, you must thank Coella Jamela, African Queen, said Archie, holding up his prize-winning photograph. When Mama saw it, she gave Jamela a big hug. After Archie had gone, Jamela helped Mama wash the material and hang it up to dry. It's the most beautiful material in the world, said Jamela. Mama just smiled. They sang songs as they watched the feathery patterns dance in the warm breeze. And then Mama and Jamela played a hand clapping game for a while. Let's do teapots, Mama, cried Jamela. So Jamela taught Mama to do a little song about a teapot with a spout. They dipped, they tipped, and the tea poured out. When they stopped, the material felt warm and dry, so Mama showed Jamela how to fold it, just as she had learned to do it when she was a little girl. That evening, Mama cut and sewed until she had her special dress to wear to Thelma's wedding. When she finished, there was a piece of material left over. Mama measured it with her eye, this way and that way. Then she looked at sleeping Jamela and smiled. Wonder what Mama's gonna do with that extra material. The hands of the clock passed midnight and Mama was still hard at work. Every now and then she sang softly to herself, Coella Jamela, African Queen. Next day at the wedding, Thelma looked radiant. Good noticing, there's our last word, radiant. 
so happy, you look beautiful. We often say a bride looks radiant. Mama looked lovely. And when Archie said smile, everyone, guess who had the biggest smile? And notice what Jamela is wearing. What did Mama make for her? Joella, Coella Jamela, African queen. That's who. All right. So now that we've read our story, we're going to have some fun with our words. Our first word was clutching. Say it. Clutching. Mm -hmm. In the story, it said he ran out clutching his camera. Clutching means holding something tight. Okay, or holding on tight. So, um, if you brought your favorite toy to the park, I might say she was clutching her favorite toy so nobody could take it, right? That's clutching. In the picture, this woman is clutching her purse. Maybe she's afraid a robber will try to steal it. So, now is when your talking partner comes in because here is our sentence. I was clutching because, so I could say I was clutching my purse because I was afraid someone would take it. All right, try it with your talking partner. Clara and Nate, could one of you try this? I was clutching my phone because I was afraid I would drop it. Beautiful sentence. Go ahead. Great example. Nate? I was clutching the dog toy so that the dog couldn't take it from Great. me. Great. All right. Great examples of how we would use clutching. All right. Our next word in the story was cross. In the story, it said even Jamela was cross with Jamela. Cross means mad, angry, irritated. In the picture, this teacher looks cross. What are some reasons that teachers get cross, angry, irritated? I think teachers get cross when people talk out of turn or when kids hit each other, right? That makes teachers cross. So our sentence for cross is, I was cross when, remember, cross means angry or irritated, so think about when you felt cross. I was cross when my brother went on my phone. Mm, I was cross when my brother went on my phone. I bet a, a lot of you could relate to that. All right, Nate, can you make a sentence with cross? I was cross when suddenly my sister made something up. Hmm. So I'm hearing a lot about brothers and sisters making each other cross. That might be happening in your house too. You've probably spent a lot of time with your brothers and sisters if you have brothers and sisters. <laughs> so our last word was radiant. Okay, in the story it said Thelma looked radiant. Radiant means looking beautiful because you're so happy. In the picture, this woman looks radiant. Say the word. Radiant. Radiant. Okay, so. There we go. Here's our sentence for radiant. So think about when you look radiant. When you look beautiful because you feel so happy. I looked radiant. I looked radiant when I got an A. Okay, so I got I looked radiant when I got an A. Great, great example. Nate, can you think of an example of I looked radiant? I looked radiant when I made district band. Great, okay. So it's when you feel really happy. Sometimes you look radiant. I thought we would try something together today. Um, before we act out our words, I thought we could try showing on our face how we look 
So how would it look? I, that wouldn't be on your face, right? But show me clutching, holding on to something tight. Show me clutching, right? How about cross? You can show that on your face. Yes, okay. And radiant, right? You're so happy. You look really just excited and happy. All right, radiant. So who could come up and show us either Clutching, cross, or radiant. Looks like Nate's going first. Hmm. What are you thinking, Clara? Cross. Cross? Was it cross? Yep. Yep, he looked angry, irritated. Okay. Clutching? Yep. Is it clutching, Clara? All right. Maybe we need a guest. Uh, a guest to do radiant. Do you think you could show us radiant? Come on over. What do you think? What's it? Do you think it's cross, clutch, or radiant? Radiant. Radiant. I see something else there too, though. We might we might say he's clutching the puppy. Right, he's holding on tight so he doesn't drop the puppy. All right, it was great to see everybody. Remember, you can use those words when you're talking and when you're writing. See you next week. <laughs>